Yo, what is good, Knicks Nation? Welcome back to Knicks Media. This is Richie, and in this video, I want to give you guys my thoughts of last night's game. The New York Knicks are now on a three-game win streak after dominating the Charlotte Hornets 121-102. to The Knicks are also back to 500. they They're also undefeated with the brand-new rotation that Tom Thibodeau's implementing ever since last Sunday, where they benched Cam Reddish and Derrick Rose and giving Deuce McBride real minutes. Now we're seeing the defense taking a big step. And yes, the Charlotte Hornets are not the greatest team in the world. They got injuries like Lamella Ball and Gordon Hayward out, but good teams take care of business on the road against teams they're supposed to beat. It's exactly what the Knicks did last night. Julius Randle continues his stretch where he's playing like an all-star all of a sudden. RJ Barrett's coming off one of his better games of this season, and it's an overall dominant victory on the road, and I want to give you guys my overall thoughts of the current state of the New York Knicks and why this should get real, uh, Knicks fans a lot of excitement heading into the rest of the season because, you know, what this coach is doing right now is adjusting on the fly, and I know not every single Knicks fan is a fan of the coach and not a fan of the decisions that he's been making but in my opinion I think he deserves some credit for the job that he's done especially this week and the last three games because he's really making sure that he is trying to find the right people out there to get the right minutes and so far it's working we'll see if it can work we'll see if you know it's a small sample size only three games but we'll see if this will continue uh, the success with the defense with Deuce McBride and, uh, and Quentin Grimes because those are the two guys that I think is the X factor for these this winning streak so before I hop into the video uh, I just want to say if you guys are new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the video please do me a favor just simply hit that thumbs up button and comment down below your thoughts of last night's game over the Charlotte Hornets. Really do appreciate each and every one of you guys tuning into Knicks Media. With that being said, let's get right into the video. So let's talk about Julius Randle real quick because Randle's playing like an all-star. I mean, the last five games, he has been on a tear. Another 30-point game, back-to-back -back, uh, outings for Julius Randle, over 30 points. 33 points to be exact. Seven boards, two assists, nine of 22 from the field. He also had a block. He also had a steal. 11 of 14 from the free throw line. Julius Randle, I mean, we all know that if he can play at this level consistently, we're a different team. And the problem with Randle is his consistency. He gets hot. He gets cold. He sometimes is not there mentally. Well, I don't think that's been the issue this season. You know, you can tell that off the court, he's very, you know, content. He's very peaceful. Um, wh whatever's happening with uh, his life off the court, I feel like is really translating to his uh, style on the court. You can tell that he's playing, you know, free out there. He's playing with the, for the joy of the game. He's getting getting his teammates involved. He's becoming more of a leader that we need him to be. Uh, he's hitting his shots from downtown. He's attacking the paint. He's not turning the ball over at all. I mean, he had two turnovers in this one, but I mean, I just don't feel like Julius Randle has been turning the ball over at all in this past stretch of games, which is key to his, you know, impact of winning, obviously. But I think Knicks fans, you know, I know some people are like, all right, Randle's playing good. Great. Trade him because his value's up. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Obviously, the Knicks are definitely going to be making a trade or two in the next couple of weeks. Uh, so we'll see what happens on that front. But I've been very impressed with Julius Randle. And I feel like he, if it can continue the stretch of games, the Knicks are going to be in a lot of games for the rest of the season for sure. R.J. Barrett having his one of his better games of the season. 26 points, 7 boards, 4 dimes, 50% from the field for R.J. Barrett. Now, I think we can all understand where R.J. Barrett's you know <laughs> trajectory is for the rest of the season. If you go back and look at his previous seasons, starts off slow, middle of December, he goes off all the way until the rest of the season. Now, it's not guaranteed that's going to happen, but if you look at last year, the beginning of the new year, R.J. Barrett was averaging well over 23.5 points per game, shooting the ball well. For whatever reason, R.J. just started starts off slow. So maybe this is a good sign that RJ is getting his feet underneath him. He's gaining his confidence. You know, I know it's against the Hornets, so it's not like, you know, we should think that RJ is back. Uh, he has to show that he can do this consistently. He has to show that he can do this on a game-to-game -game basis. But what we saw from RJ tonight, we saw two poster dunks, uh, attacking the paint, you know, finishing through contact, all the stuff that Knicks fans fell in love with RJ Barrett. And I feel like him getting that big contract in the offseason, there's a lot of pressure on him to prove that he's worth that money. Um, so I feel like he's trying to get his rhythm. And let's hope that that this is, you know, the R.J. Barrett for the rest of the season because if he can really get his stuff going in terms of scoring at least 23-plus per game uh, efficiently, that's really going to open up this, this team to another level. Quinn Grimes, 11 points, 6 boards, 4 for 8 from downtown, uh, excuse me, from the field, 50%. You just love his energy. You love his defense. You love his shooting. You love everything about Quinn Grimes. You can't say enough good things about Quinn Grimes, man. He's not going to put up 20-plus per game, but that's not his role on this team, in my opinion. He's a 3 and D guy that can also put the ball on the floor, attack the paint, facilitate the rock, and play defense. I mean, this defense that he brings, the communication on the perimeter, you know, understanding that where he needs to be, where his teammates needs to be, and not to mention Deuce 
McBride off the bench, his defense has been so important. I mean, Deuce McBride, you know, he's not going to plug the stat sheet, even though he did add 10 points last night with two steals. You know, I just feel like Deuce McBride's impact on this rotation has been the missing piece all season long because the offense has never been a struggle for the Knicks this year. It's been defense. And now with Deuce McBride and Quentin Grimes out there on the court together and, you know, sharing minutes, it's a good sign to see that this defense is trending in the right direction. Uh, Mitchell Robinson, he had four early points in that game, finished with six points, 13 boards, three blocks, and a steal. So he's been cleaning up the glass. He's been, you know, protecting the paint, which is a great sign. Uh, and this is back-to-back -back games where Jalen Brunson had no impact. I mean, Brunson, in terms of offense, right? Jalen Brunson was 3 of 13 in this game, but he did have a double-double, 11 points and 11 dimes. So that's the cool thing about Brunson, where his offense is not there. It's like, all right, Randall's on, RJ's on, I'll just facilitate the rock, I'll finish with 11 dimes, and I'll get my teammates involved. It's not all about me right now. My shot's not falling, so I'm going to help out my teammates, you know, get those buckets. And then Emmanuel quickly off the bench with 11. Isaiah Hardenstein off the bench with 11. And then shout-out to... Tom Thibodeau's uh, decision with Ovi Toppin being injured for the next couple of weeks. This is something to keep an eye out for, guys. Jericho Sims is playing the four off the bench. We saw Hardenstein and Jericho Sims on the floor together, and Sims is an absolute dog defensively. I mean, his ability to switch on the, on the perimeter, protect the paint, you know, his versatility defensively is a big weapon. And it, it's a very interesting move because I don't know if it's going to be able to work against every single opponent. You know, the Charlotte Hornets are more of a bigger team uh, down low. So maybe that's why the coach did that. So we'll see if Cam Reddish is going to get some minutes in the, in the next couple of games with uh, Obi Toppin being injured uh, because – Cam Reddish, again, no minutes. Derrick Rose, no minutes. Obi Toppin, obviously injured. He did not get any minutes. So it's going to be interesting to see what this rotation looks like with Obi Toppin getting injured. Um, and if Jericho Sims is going to remain that guy off the bench uh, instead of Obi Toppin. But all in all, guys, I've been very impressed with the defense with this team. You know, we held the Hornets to 102 points. And I know, again, that they're not with Gordon Hayward and LaMelo Ball, who are their two key pieces to that team. But overall, you got to take care of business on the road. The Knicks are back to 500, and vibes are high right now. We got another big game tomorrow, you know, um, uh, at 6 o'clock on Sunday. And I feel like this is a really interesting stretch of games that the Knicks have right now. You know, we're at home against the Sacramento Kings, and then we have back-to-back -back games against the Chicago Bulls. And I feel like this could be where the Knicks get over 500 and stay there for the remainder of the season if they can uh, get this momentum going. And can Julius Randle continue his hot stretch? Can R.J. Barrett continue to play the way he's playing? Can Deuce McBride and Quinn Grimes remain their defensive versatility, their communication, making sure that we are buying into the system of Tom Thibodeau? Because, you know, I'm giving credit to the coach right here. I I'm not saying that, you know, Thibodeau's proven to be the coach for the next decade at all. But what he's done in the next in the last three games of making these rotation changes, he's proving that you know the defense is, has to be the priority here, and it's and it's coming through with wins, and that's all I want. W's. I don't care who's playing or not. I want wins, and I want this Knicks team to make some noise and make the playoffs this year, and we got a long way to go. Trust me. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section of this game last night and your overall thoughts of the Thibodeau rotations, Julius Randle's assurgence, RJ Barrett breaking out last night, uh, Deuce McBride. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments, guys. Love to hear what you guys have to say, and I'll catch you guys next time. Let's get another win tomorrow. Let's go Knicks. Peace out.